Hi, good morning and welcome to today's products in focus. As you can see there, the US 30 bounced off potential support at 16.178 perfectly. Slight uh, hammer formation here. Now we would be hoping for a little bit more fall through this morning, but it looks to be just slightly, ever so slightly in positive territory today, uh, which basically means the pressure is still on. So potential support is at 16.178, potential resistance is at 16.401. So looking at the UK 100, it's also been having a tough time, but managed to recover a lot of the losses that it suffered yesterday. We traded them quite low below support, 65.81. We do have a much more bullish candle today, so it's almost a bullish engulfing um, candle at the moment. Obviously, the trading day is just 15 minutes old uh, at the time when I'm recording this. Um, we are moving in the right direction. So the next potential resistance is at 6666, and obviously potential support still remains at 65.81. If we have a look at the Japan 225, it's been struggling uh, in the last couple of sessions. Uh, but it seems to have bounced off that potential support at 14219 uh, that's been in play uh, for quite some time, for about the last seven months. Um, we want to stay above this level. As soon as we start trading below that, um, that is, you know, we're getting close to, uh, to 12 month lows then in that case. Next potential support is at 13693. But you really need to look at dollar yen, which had a little bit of a bounce um, this morning. Um, this is the thing that's been holding uh, the Japan to five back. So we have actually been seeing a little bit of yen selling. Uh, it got so a, a lot of yen buying yesterday. It looks like monetary stimulus in Japan isn't happening as soon as some commentators would like. So that's been causing the strength thing the Japanese yen. A slight rebound there uh, yesterday. This might only be short term, uh, sorry today, this might only be short term though. Um, but nevertheless, the potential support is at 101 spot 80, potential resistance 102 spot 87. So jumping on to our old favorite crude oil, as tensions continue to escalate over in uh, eastern Ukraine, uh, you can see there that we have now once again hit potential resistance at 103. Um, this level is going to be quite kind of important uh, for us to get get through. If we do break through there, the next potential resistance is close to 105. Uh, if there's another failure, obviously resist support remains at 100 spot 60. So gold, what's been happening with gold? So gold been having a good couple of sessions on what was dollar weakness, uh, and it's kind of still capped that 55 period SMA, uh, sorry 21 period SMA in fact. Um, so we're slapped by the middle of the two ranges, 1332 potential resistance, and 1295 still at potential support. So jumping on to euro dollar, which uh, has been drifting slightly this morning, but after a good couple of sessions, 21 period SMA is rather tiresome at the moment in regards to it's not it's, it's struggling to break higher uh, capped by that black line uh, potential resistance still remains at 138.63 and the potential support is at 37.72 and if we just finish up then with cable which had a great couple of sessions I think it's really surprised uh, some economic data that came out yesterday was much better than expected. Um, cable's getting quite close to, to, to punching through. We stopped bang on potential resistance at 67.44. We need to close above that to get anything more meaningful. We've not actually closed above that, um, well, for some time. Uh, we've got to go quite far back. Uh, so this is really strategic. So on my daily charts, I can't even go back as far. I need to switch this on to my weekly charts. And you'll be able to see that we've been all the way back right here uh, mid 2011 uh, just going back here it kind of shows you uh, it kind of shows you how how significant that level is that we get a close above it uh, so 6744 that's where many traders will be looking today and we might get there today we've got trade balance uk at 9 30 uk time uh remember we've got crude oil inventories it's wednesday after all so it's crude oil wednesdays you've got your uh, petroleum data due at 3 30 and then we fast forward on the thursday Chinese data, that's going to be big for their potential stimulus package that they're mounting just now. More UK data, this is going to be interest rate announcement, that's probably not going to change, but you never know. Uh, and then you've got jobless claims. So there is a few bits of economic data still due out uh, tomorrow and a couple of bits today. Keep your eye on the chart forum, forum updates from CMC clients and our analysts, and the same with insights as well. Make sure you make that part of your layer and join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next.